hope you're all staying healthy and safe. Thank you all so very much for supporting my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, if this video helps you, please give it a thumbs up. Today, I'll be discussing about how to create XY scatter chart in Excel here. I have table with uh, values for total rainfall in column A and in column B I have values for sales so what I like to do is check the relationship between total rainfall and sales so for example I want to check if the rainfall is causing um, sales to go up or down uh, so in order to do so, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and select the values on the table and then I'll go ahead and click on insert here. You can either go to recommended charts. You'll see that the very first option that I have is scatter. And if you go down, there will be other options as well. So the other way you can create a scatter chart is by clicking on this drop down menu and then clicking on this scatter chart so there are other options for scatter chart with uh, lines and markers um, etc so I'll go ahead and choose the very simple one first and click on this one now here I have the scatter chart and what I'll go ahead and do is expand this so the x-axis over here has values for total rainfall and the y-axis here has values for sales. Now what I'll do is I'll add chart element with axis titles. So primary horizontal would be total rainfall and then I'll go ahead and add Primary vertical would be sales and then I'll also go ahead and change the title for the chart XY scatter chart and then so you can see that here when the value for rainfall is zero the sales value is around 30 35 and 38 if you hover over the data point you'll see that zero which is x value for rainfall and 30 is y value for sales similarly if I go all the way to the right if you see the x value we have it as 10 and y value sales is at 2 so this shows that when the value for rainfall increases, the sales value decreases. So visually how we can create that is by adding another chart element called trend lines. So I'll go ahead and do, um, click on this linear trend line. So now if you see here, you can see the trend line is showing downward trend with increasing rainfall value and decreasing sales value. Also, what I can do is, I'll go ahead and double click on that trend line so that uh, I would like to see if I can make the trend line more thicker. So let's go ahead and change the width to 2.5 points and then I'll go ahead and change the color to red or green or I'll go ahead and choose this dark green one. So now I have a trend line that um, is uh, 
colored as well as what I'll do is I'll go ahead and choose the dash type as without any dash I'll actually go ahead and uh, go back to color blue and then you can also go ahead and delete these grid lines so that it's kind of um, visually um, neat so now here I have my scatter chart for total rainfall and sales uh, this is how you can create uh, XY scatter chart in Excel I uh, hope this video helps you all if this video helps you please uh, give it a thumbs up and also please consider subscribing to my channel thank you also very much for supporting my channel have a good day bye bye